Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV, and I've got a couple of things to show you today. This is going to be a quick one. It won't be a 20, 30 minute video, this one. This one will be about 10, 15 minutes maximum. Okay, uh, now the first thing I want to show you is this. This is a recent uh, image I uploaded to my Gigapan site. This is Sol 2786, so quite a recent image taken earlier this year. And you can link to the actual image page here up, up in the top corner, as with all my Gigapans. And uh, it's got all the information here. Basically, this is what I would call a low quality, a fairly low quality image set. Because A, they're in black and white, and B, the lighting quality from this sole isn't very good. Um, now that's partly because of the angle we're looking, and partly because Mars is much further away from the sun. Uh, so it's not as bright on the surface, although it does seem pretty bright sometimes. Um, depending on what time of the year it is, of course. This is what I call R2-D2, and you can see why. You can't see a lot of detail here, but you can see the shapes. Um, if I zoom, use the uh, magnifier, you can see it. You've got a dome-like head to it. You've got an arm coming down here, quite a clear arm, and a cylindrical body, right? There's not a lot of detail here, but the shapes are interesting. And I've done an enhancement of it here, which is down here. I'll show you that. Let's zoom into that as well. There's the raw clip, which I just showed you. And here's the enhanced clip here. Let's go in a bit closer. Now, there's not much detail to be seen here, but the shapes are interesting. Uh, I'm not saying this is a robot. I'm saying this is something shaped like one. It could be a rock. Uh, it could be a part of some kind of wreckage that's lying on the ground. There are lots of weird things in the area. There are lots of statues. There are lots of remains. There are boat wrecks. There are all sorts of weird things like ruined buildings and, and tombs and stuff everywhere. So this could be almost anything. Um, but it does look like R2-D2. And I'm going to show you a comparison of that right now. Here, here's that image I just showed you. And here's R2-D2. You can see the similarities. It's got the same sort of shoulder here. The arm coming down, it gets thinner here. And it's got a fatter bit on the end, like a foot, like this, right? It's not in very good detail, but the similarities are quite amazing. It's got a dome-shaped head. This has got a dome-shaped head. Some details around the, the edge of the dome, like this seems to have. Some darker and lighter parts. And the body is cylindrical, which kind of matches up with this one. We've got quite a dark shadow here and here. It's almost like there's something next to it, just like a rock here on the ground or something. Who knows? But basically, it really does look like it. Uh, it's just a real shame that the image is such low kind of focus and quite low quality. It's a real shame. If we could see this in more detail, we'd be able to tell one way or the other what, what we're looking at. But it may just turn out to be, like a lot of these things, it just turns out to be something on the ground that's very odd but we'll probably never really know what it is because we don't have enough detail and we would need to see this from different angles really um, much closer up to determine what it really is. So that's a bit of a shame that one. Uh, but an interesting find nonetheless and there are lots of weird things on the ground like wreckage like I said. Uh, there's also this thing up here which looks a bit like an animal skull up here. It's quite large. Now that R2-D2 thing I just showed you is only about f somewhere between 4 and 10 inches in height. Maybe a bit bigger, but not much. And this thing's a bit bigger. It's further away, but still big. This looks like an animal head, and you can actually see with the magnifier if you've got one. I do, I do recommend this. I keep going on about this. It's called Magnifying Glass Hover Zoom Chrome Extension. So go into your Chrome, look, up its, and look at your extensions, and you can type it in, and that should come up. You'll be able to download it. It's only a couple of megabytes. There it is. It's got an eye. It's got a brow ridge. Another brow ridge here. What looks like an ear. And another ear. And nostrils. And a mouth. It's not very clear. I appreciate that. It may be an optical trick. I also appreciate that. But let's look at it anyway. I've darkened it up a bit here. So you can see a bit more detail. But there's, there's no real detail in these images at all. They're really poor. Um, and I'm going to explain why in a second. Um, but you can see that, you can see the eye here. Let's go a bit closer. 
You can see nostrils here, a mouth and a chin, an ear here and an ear here. Let's draw around that really quickly. We've got an eye here with pupil detail, ear, another ear, nostrils, it seems here, snout, like that, mouth, there's the other brow, there's an eyebrow there. They've got these highlighted parts here which are which look like brow ridges and an eye there, okay? Now, I don't know what this is, don't know what sort of creature it might represent. It may not be any sort of creature, it may just be a rock that happens to look like one. But why do they always seem to have eyes, ears and noses and mouths in the right place? Why does that always seem to happen on Mars? Um, I have found well over 200 of these now, different animals and people and all sorts. Probably more like, I don't, in fact, I've found so many I've lost count. Just humanoids and, and uh, that type I've found probably uh, over 100. Uh, animals, there's probably hundreds. There's probably two or three hundred I've found so far. Animal remains. And it's mostly skulls lying around. Like I've said before, skulls are not very edible. There's almost meat on the skull. The bodies were probably dragged off and eaten, taken away by some sort of creature. There are creatures, or were creatures, in the area which would have done that. So there we are. There's the R2D2. Just draw around that. There's the shoulder. It's got this wider part here and a narrower part there, and then what seems to be a foot here. And then the dome comes around like that, and there's some details on it here, which I can't really make out. There's a line there, which means there's some something going on there. And then there's the body, okay? And that kind of comes around like that. There's a dark shadow there. All right. Now, what are the chances of that on a rock, do you think? Pretty low, I would say. It just happens to have that same sort of shoulder detail and a narrow part here and the foot, right? What are the chances of that, do you think? Hmm, very interesting. Yes. It may not be in great detail, but the shapes are there. And you can't really argue with the basic shapes um, because one thing about these black and white images is I really don't think they're altered because they're coming down in a sort of raw form and you, you have to I'll show you now um, you have to when you download them they come in this format where they've got this grid on them okay like this one does and when you zoom in I'll show you that now you can see the grid see the grid pattern now to get rid of that you have to blur the image by about one percent or thereabouts but unfortunately what that does it makes the whole image look softer and uh, you lose definition. And uh, this is why these images look so poor. And it's a real shame because there are examples of much sharper images like this one I uploaded the other day where we have um, a much closer ridge line, uh, but it's in color and the camera is kind of in more sharp focus. It's not sharp focus, but sharper focus because everything's closer. So it's one of those things of distance, basically, uh, you've got a very out of focus background, but you've got a fairly good focus foreground on this one. And there's a couple of really good things here. I didn't find these. This was found by Dean Sattler, this thing. Which looks like a little person coming out of a entrance. And then we have, I'm not saying that's what it is, I'm just saying that's what it looks like. <laughs> so uh, spare me the uh, Paradolia Police comments. We have another thing here that I think was found by Martin Graney about it, uh, I think in 2019, and it looks like a hinge, okay? And if you look carefully, you can see the join of the hinge here. We have a part going into it there, joining this part, which comes up here. It's, it's very pitted and eroded and maybe very ancient indeed. And this whole thing here may in fact be the remains the, the corroded metal remains of an armoured door, perhaps off a boat or ship, or something else, or a building. You know, it's another rather strange thing here. Now these things are so ancient and corroded and pitted that it's often impossible to tell what they are, but this is in reasonably good shape. 
you've got the arm of the hinge there and the sort of plate which would have been attached to this which may have been a door here okay so that was really cool you can find them on the gigapan quite easily there it is not terrible detail because it's pretty close up but it's amazing how poor these are considering how close it is to the camera they should be way better than this but this is what you get from nasa they downgrade all the images uh the browse images by 25 to 50 percent so we lose a lot of detail um, and then there was the little dude here, which is tiny. This is only centimeters tall. Um, this it may be an optical trick, but it looks like a little person crawling out or coming out of a an entrance or something. And when you look at the detail up close, like I've got down here, you can actually see, even in the raw image here, you can even see an eye, a nose, and a mouth. And the head comes up, it's got like a little cap or something sticking up. And the shoulder here, and what looks like an arm, and possibly a hand over the edge of this metal box. Perfectly square object here, all right? So even if this is an optical trick, and this is just some pebbles that are stuck together, they're stuck to a perfectly square metallic box-shaped object, which seems to have a part to it on the back here. So it looks like a a hatch or something very interesting who knows what that is but that was found by Dean Sattler last year really cool find that I've just uploaded this to my new channel this one um, I did publish it before but I've, up, I've just re-uploaded it to my new channel uh, which I've had about a year and if you if you go to my main page on Artelian TV and scroll to the bottom there's some of my friends channels here uh, both very good channels, Mars Anomalies and, and Jean Ward. And uh, there's my spare channel, Space Detective One. You can link to it there or just look it up. Uh, or just go to any of my videos and there's a link to it in the description of each video. There's a link to my spare channel there, okay? So do go along. Um, it's up to about 4,500 subscribers now, um, which isn't too bad. It's just there as an emergency channel, kind of backup channel in case any of my videos go down or my channel has problems okay so there we are that was about it really we got a, a poor quality black and white image here which is a bit blurry you can't see a lot there's almost no detail to be seen when you zoom in even at, even the close objects in this one when you zoom in are blurred which is really annoying and uh, I've tried sharpening it but it doesn't get any better it just breaks up um, it's really bad but there it is there's the R2D2 is it a rock? Is it part of a robot? Is it some other kind of, uh, kind of wreckage? Who knows? We'll probably never know. And then we have this image, which is actually quite good because it's closer. Everything's in good, sharp-ish detail. You can actually see granular detail here, like individual grains of sand, which is the what the images are supposed to be like, really. Okay. And it's an old camera, this, on this, on this rover. The camera was probably built 20 years ago. Uh, it's the same as the camera put on the Spirit and the Opportunity Rovers, and, and it's the same as the camera that got, they used on the Viking. It's based on the old Viking camera, which was 1975-76, right? Now, they're not built for quality. They're built for sturdiness, and they're built to withstand extreme changes in temperature because it goes from quite hot during the day, often 80 degrees, 70, 80 degrees during the day, to minus 200 plus at night. So... They're designed to withstand very high temperature changes. They're not really designed to, to have great photographs. Although some of the photographs are quite good occasionally, like this one. Because it's in reasonable focus. And you can see lots of weird little pebbles stuck together here. Which is what this little dude may be, actually. It may be an optical trick. You've got lots of weird details here on some of these rocks where parts are eroded and sticking up. So these may just be pebbles that are stuck together, but isn't it amazing how these so-called rocks often have eyes, noses, mouths, and chins, and heads, and ears, and shoulders, and limbs all in the right place, and how they seem to be crawling out of a, a, a metallic-looking hatch, perfectly square. Look at the edge of that. Even on the raw one, you can see the perfect edge there. Perfectly rectangular right angles okay and it seems to be crawling out and having a look round 
possibly looking at the Rover. Okay, so who knows? It, it, it could be either either, but it's very, very strange and it's very small, literally about an inch or two, this thing, right? This is a bit bigger, this is probably only about four inches, this hinge. So it's pretty much a standard door hinge side, I would say, this thing. So credit to Dean Sattler and Martin Graney for those, okay? And obviously this is one of my finds, but not very clear. It's a real shame that we can't get closer to that and, and get a much sharper image of it. But he really does look like R2-D2 in shape even with the foot and arm details alone, it, it looks like it, like we have here, okay? Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please check out my new, well, new-ish backup channel, Space Detective One. Please go along to there and subscribe. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.